Hi, I'm David Cooper from ePianos and Tyros Tipsters. Today I want to show you this amazing keyboard. This is a Yamaha Tyros 4. Tyros 4 um, followed the Tyros 1 and the 2 and the 3, and it is the top of its range. It's the flagship keyboard. They actually finished making it in 2013, but it's such a powerful instrument. It was one of the first for the Yamaha sounds to be used in the style section. So it's got really good style accompaniments and there's lots of variations to find within the instrument in the different categories. The uh, Tyros 4 is five octaves, so 61 notes. So the same as most of the S series keyboards. And um, it was only when the Tyros 5 came out that you could get it in a longer version. But the Tyros 4 was only made in 61 notes uh, in silver. Um, they did bring another version out, which is um, a little bit better, which has um, an expansion memory with some extra voices. But the, the main one in the series was the, the silver version, and that's the Tyros 4 that I've got here. Now you have loads of voices all in different categories. Very good uh, draw bar section if you want the organ sounds. And the rhythm section has loads and loads of variations which come up in the music finder. Let's have a closer look together and see what it sounds like. So as you'll see, the layout is just the same really as a Tyros 1, Tyros 2 or Tyros 3. So it's very easy. If you're familiar with the Yamahas, even the S series, then the, the layout here makes it very, very easy to to move up to a, a different model. And we've got all the styles on the left, all the voices on the right. We've got our uh, part select to control which voices are selected and turned on. Uh, and the same all on the left here, the intros, the endings, the break, uh, transpose, they're all just where we know where to find them. So it makes it very easy to move up through the range. Um, the, the size of this is the same as the Taurus 1, 2 or 3. So it's the, the same standard length. It's got 61 notes. Um, one of the beauties of this model is that all of the voices from the earlier instruments are in here. We can go into a, a voice section, we can go up and onto page two, and we've got this thing called Legacy. Now, Legacy voices are the ones which um, are on the earlier models. So if you've got MIDI files or songs that you've recorded, then we can go into Legacy, and we've got all the categories again with, with the voices that haven't been included in this model. So the, the legacy section is, is really, really useful. Another of the features that are brilliant on this is the, the OTS link, the one touch settings. So this, this section here, we have four settings that suit the style that we've got selected. And Yamaha have, have chosen four good sounds, whether it's one voice or a mixture of voices, and they've put them into these one touch settings and they can be used. And the link over here couples them up. So if we're using A, number one selects B, C and D, so it gives us this big change with our style section and our voice section. Okay, let's do through some of the voices first of all then. Um, I've got a sustain pedal down here. So if I've got something like my piano voices on, lovely piano voices. And we can go down an octave with the octave. piano sound, isn't it? So big, big piano sound. And in this section we've got other choices of pianos too. We've got a warm piano, or a bright. So some good sounds in that first section. And octave pianos are nice. So there's some great sounds just in the piano section, but all of the voice sections are very, very realistic. If we go into organs, we've got the, the wider shade of pale. And we've got things like, if we go a bit further, we've got um, tibias, beautiful tibia organs. We've got... Um, uh, this is a nice one. B 
big pipe organ sound. Little chapel organ. Then you've got your jazz. Fast Leslie. And if we go a bit further, let's go to something like um, your um, theatre sounds. Um. Let's go to the string section. The string section here, very big string sounds. Sounds in here are really, really good. They're more up to date than the older models, but there was a sound that everyone loved, and it's still here. It's called Allegro strings, and it gave you just a smoother sound that people got used to with the sound of strings. So, got the new the new samples which are actually much more accurate but they're not as smooth and sweet and that's where the things like the allegro and the live are just a little bit silky smoother aren't they okay let's go to another section we've got the choirs the choirs on this model are much more advanced than previous ones and they give you a really big sound we can go into boys choir oo We can go an ah oh, instead of ooh. We've got humming. We've got wowing. And then we've got the scat. Now the scat is affected on how hard you hit your note. So. And we've got the Latin sounds. So some lovely effects in the choir section. Um, next is your brass. We've got things like your trumpet. Even effects come into it. If I press harder. We get that wibbly sounder coming in. Cornets are lovely. And the flugelhorn too. In the next section we've got saxophones, so the saxophones. The jazz sax is beautiful. Now because these are super articulation voices, we can play them differently and get different effects. If I do an octave, it does that glissando to the next note. But I can force it, I can force uh, a glissando where I hear the notes. And I can have a smooth glissando. So I can make these extra effects come into the sounds by these two articulation buttons. And I can put those into foot switches too. So I can get all these extra effects without having to learn the, the octave or the third. There's a more breathy one as well. So really good sounds in the sax section. Let's just have a look through what else. We've got guitars. The guitars are very, very accurate. So if I go into a concert guitar. Got a C 
steel guitar. Uh, one of the features they've added um, in the Genos series is, is a, sorry, the Tyros series, is that we've got a, a button to hear how the sound can be best played to make it sound the most authentic. So if I go into the concert guitar and I hit the demo button, So staccato really works on the guitars. If I go to um, the flamenco guitar, press the wrong button there. So uh, guitars and flamenco. So it's really, really good to get an idea of how best to use those sounds. If we try another one, let's go into um, blues warm. Um, we can play that and it's going to sound different again. So you just get some inspiration of how best to use those sounds, which is really, really, really useful. We've got an accordion section, we've got a drawbar section. This is great. We've actually got on the screen here. Can we come into the screen? I'll show you. So on here, these are your drawbars, um, just like you have on a... Hammond or, or one of the classic organ sounds and um, we can make the Leslie speaker go fast and slow and we can bring in the different draw bars we've got these sliders to make the sounds So we've got all the control on this screen really, really well covered so we can get into things and adjust them. And Yamaha have, have always gone a bit further than any of us can think we needed them to. So we might go into a section and realise we've got controls over things that we, we didn't realise we could do. And that's where they've so gone ahead of everything, I realise, on, on this kind of keyboard and made them things that you can adjust to make the playing ability very, very easy. OK, so we've gone through the voices. Let's go through some of the styles now. Okay, so we look at the style section now. The style section on the Taurus 4 is very, very advanced. Um, I've been playing it this morning. I can't believe how some of the styles are just so accurate and so good fun to use. They're, they're really well, well or orchestrated, but they're so much fun. And the, and the intros and the endings just make them very exciting to use. So let me share a few with you. We'll go into the um, first section I'm going to go into is rhythm and blues, R&B. And we've got on here... We've actually got uh, five pages. We've got 50 R&B styles. And each of these styles have four variations, three intros, three endings, a break that we can use. There's loads and loads of things to bring in while we're playing. The break is great. If you don't already use the break feature, when we're playing a rhythm, let's just put one on to show you. We can press the break. So it sort of stops all the backing and then goes back in again to playing it again. So whatever rhythm I'm using, let's try blues rock. And back in again. So it's a great way to sort of go between a chorus and a verse or the end of a, a passage. And it just gives you this really good sort of classic clear stop and then carry on again. Let's try, we'll try the blues rock. We're going to intro number two. Um, I'm going to try it with a, um, a start off with a, piano on number one. All the sounds are available to see. We can go into on the screen. If you just come into the screen a minute, if I've got blues rock turned on here, we can go into OTS info at the top of number six. And it shows me the first sound. And it's orange to say I've selected it. Uh, organ in number two. And we've got the blues bright. And then the full brass. So we can see this screen if we wanted to just by um, going into the OTS info, and that then shows us what we're selecting from. Okay, let's go into this first one. Now I'm going to play the blues rock backing. I use my intro number two. Great intro.
drums at the end there. Brilliant, just really, really good styles. Let's go into another one then. We're going to um, quite like the Gospel Party. Let's have a listen to that. Just great, aren't they? So that was called Gospel Party, and I was using the intro actually in the middle as a as like a fill in because I can just bring that in and it'll start doing a little little extra bit. Let's try some more. Let's funk is great. Let's try this one. Gas funk. Let's see what that's like. You kind of almost recognise uh, tracks out of the charts, don't you, just from the, the way they're done. Slow blues is nice, okay, let's try that. And then the four backings. break. good style there. Okay, we'll go a bit further, let's have a look. We've got um, loads of gospel stuff on here, really good gospel backings. Uh, okay, we've got um, Swinging Boogie, this is a fabulous one. Okay, let's try Swinging Boogie. Or number two. Good fun to play. Uh, Piano Booga is a good one. And so there's just loads there. A lovely shuffle is good for a bit of uh, Stevie Wonder. Transpose. A 
that's a great back isn't it okay i'll just do one more from that section and um, we'll try the uh, blueberry blues which is ideal for um, blueberry hill <laughs> So as you can see, the sounds on this are very, very powerful. They're really good fun. I'm not having to play that much to get all that backing coming through, and it makes me feel great. So it's a really good uplifting keyboard to play. Okay, can I see what the time is? Yeah. 1.55. Uh, we'll do one more batch of styles, and we'll do the rest when I get back. Is that okay? Sure. Uh, okay, so uh, we've done rhythm and blues. Let's do movie and show, which is quite small. Okay. Just keep going? Yeah. So the next section I want to choose in the style section is probably one of my favourites. It's called Movie and Show. And it's got some really good full backings. And there's a section called uh, Free Play, which is, this was the start of the Free Play rhythms, where you've got some great backings that don't have a backing beat. So you can play faster or slower, and it still works with the backing. So if you're somebody who likes to play things a bit slower at first, you can still have this full backing, but without having to keep to any specific beat. Let's give you an idea. We're going to ethereal movie, and you'll hear what I mean by the way that there's, there's no kind of obvious beat to it. We'll put the intro on, and we'll just play, uh, I'll play a chord, and we'll hear the backing. type sounds but you see how I could just play fast or slow and that that just big expanse of left hand sound just just works in the background let's try this one called free play ethereal voices it's more choiry so let's try this one you could use it for hymns because again there's no speed to it Oh. 
that's another free play called Ethereal Voices. We've got another free play called Broadway, on Broadway. And what this one is a bit like, um, so Andrew Lloyd Webber songs and things. Let's try that. We'll play an intro. sound isn't it so that's the free play rhythms and they're all in the movie and show we've got some really powerful ones too if we go to movie soundtrack um, this is great for the pirates of the caribbean theme isn't it? So this is the Taurus 4 and this is the movie and show section and that was called movie soundtrack. It's just a really full-on background. Uh, Secret Service, this is James Bond. feel of it don't you and it gets you into the spirit of the of the backing we've got some classical ones these are nice <laughs> got a baroque one here got a minuet uh, we've got a moonlight sonata one So these backings are really good because they enthuse you to get more involved with the music. Uh, we'll just do one more in this section. We've got, um, let's have a look, we've got TV themes, uh, French 50s, I'm going to do French 50s, which is great for the can-can. <laughs> Pop, 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 pop,
Okay, so we've gone through the rhythm and blues section and we've gone through some of the um, movie sort of sounds, the uh, movie and show section. Let's go into the jazz section now. So we're going to go into swing and jazz, okay? And swing and jazz has got some really good fun stuff. Uh, if we start off with big band jazz, this is a really good backing. Let's have a listen to big band jazz, okay? And we'll go into um, good intro here. <laughs> great back in isn't it and they've all got such amazing drum sounds the cymbals just continue for a long time at the end of the hit you just hear them simmering on for ages big band uh, shuffles a great one Another good style of his acoustic jazz that's used this a lot. Going a bit further, let's go to um, Fortis Swing Band. It's a bit of the sort of Glenn Miller sound. So I'll put on the um, the intro. Ooh. good styles and section of the swing and jazz. Uh, I'll just go to a couple more that I like in the, the next section. Trad Jazz Piano is a great, um, just a really good backing. section we've got one called middle of the road swing
swing and jazz section is very, very thorough. It gives us loads of different styles of swing and jazz. Uh, I'm just going to finish on one more. Swinging Big Band is just, again, a really good, fun one. <laughs> So again, really good styles. That's in the swing and jazz section. Let's go to another one now. I want to go to the ballroom section. And uh, we've got a bit more of the, the conventional ones that a lot of us like. Viennese Waltz is a really nice one. <coughs> English Waltz. Okay, we'll just do a couple more. We'll just do the theatre march, which is a really good full-on theatre sound. One more final one to show you is the organ rumba, which is just a lovely organ rhythm, um, nice backings. Now what you might have noticed through all these different styles I'm using is 
I haven't chosen any voices of my own. I've just used the one touch settings, the settings that Yamaha have put in for me. So I've chosen the style and I've gone between the A, B, C, D variations that give me a sound and a variation on the style. It's so, so easy to get good results without having to be a, a keyboard programmer or someone who needs to go in and mix and change all the levels. You can do that if you want to. You've got all the controls down here for all the volumes of all the sections and you can go into the, the mixing console and change all the, the controls. But essentially, the instrument is very, very easy to use and it's full of presets. And that's one of the great things about it. The last thing, if I can just get the camera to come in to the um, music finder here. The music finder is a list of songs that you can use to set up um, for the whole keyboard for. So we've got a list here of 1,464 songs in this model that we can scroll through and find. And uh, when we find one that we want to play, let's say we want to play, uh, what we got here? Um, all shook up, a jive. We can press the enter button and we just play our first chord. So it brings the right style and the right info to play that song. If we go to another one, we'll just go a bit further through. Uh, we've got Brandenburg Concerto. So I'll play my first chord. So all these different song titles, you can look through your books, look for a song you want to play, and then check out if it's in this alphabetical list of 1,464 songs. And if it is, you've got a good start on how to set it all up. If not, you just need to use the style. You go into what category is it, what style to use, and then it will set it all up from there. So it's very, very easy. It's very fail safe to get a good setting for what you want to play. So it's, it's, it's a good, easy way to have a good sound without being a good, a good program of which sounds to use and things. So the Taurus 4 is very, very versatile. Brilliant styles, as you've heard, amazing voices. The Yamaha chooses the combinations to give you the best mixes of sounds, and it's very, very easy to use. So this is a Tyros 4. I'm David Cooper from ePianos and Tyros Tipsters. If you want a part exchange, we can do that. If you want finance, we can probably arrange it. Come and give us a call, get in touch with us, and we'll help you get one of these as soon as possible.